The question that was put to me was, how do I make the best and most productive use of my time between school terms? You know, those little short breaks that you have, two weeks, five weeks, eight weeks. This is a fantastic question because the young lady sees herself in her future and she wants to be successful there. And she knows that she must be being successful now if she wants to be successful later. She has an innate ability to understand that success is not a destination, it's a lifestyle. In order to be successful later, you must be successful now. The short answer is to start projects or learning experiences that you can finish in the time frame allowed. Look for things that you can master that will greatly enhance the quality of your life. Look for things that you can master now and improve later. Let's unpack these last few statements. Let's say that you have two weeks of downtime. It's easy for you to dedicate 50 to 100 of those 200 hours to improve yourself and make your life better. Don't tackle a project that requires 400 hours when you only have 200 hours. You don't have that kind of time. There are an uncountable number of things that you can do in these short time frames. Let's take a look at a few in no particular order. You can read a book or two. You can learn to cook some special dish. You can learn how to play a musical instrument. You can further develop your software skills in some particular software that you're already using. You can learn about a country and its language that you would like to visit. You can go into stores that sell things that you don't normally buy. This is a really nice experience. Find a group in your area that meets on a regular basis that uh, does things that you don't know how to do. For example, you might find that people on your same street spin wool and then turn it into other things. Go to one of their meetings. Learn a few sleight of hand magic tricks that use common everyday things. You're going to be meeting children for the rest of your life and if you have these already in your pocket, you'll be able to entertain the children and they will love this. Interview older people in your community. Make a list of about 15 to 20 questions. Record the answers. Turn those answers into a narrative. Take your narrative back to the person and say, did I get it right? Make the necessary corrections to your narrative. Submit your narrative along with a photograph to your local newspaper. Ask the older person if they know anyone else to whom you could be introduced so that you could interview that person too. There is no shortage to the things that you can do that will make your life better in the time frames that are allowed. Just make sure that you look at how much time is available and you don't overcommit yourself for the time that's available. Most of the things suggested here are things that you can master now and improve on later. Most people in these lulls sit around and wait for something to happen. You sound like the kind of person who happens to things. This information is contained in a book that you can download for free and print yourself. Well, write to me if you want a professionally printed copy. Thank you for liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Doing such encourages me to continue making these videos and I appreciate your support.